Hey, hey guys, what's up? It's Seriously Silly with another gameplay video. Uh, now, I promised last time to do a, a couple of gameplay videos, but don't be fooled. This is actually my most recent outing in early October. Um, uh, the reason I wanted to push those other videos back and put this in the front was to be able to share with you my most recent experience. And one of the highlights of the day, besides a wonderful day of playing, was the honor to hold the CS1 uh, and also shoot half a pod through it. So I just wanted to be able to push that to the front and be able to share that with you. Now if you wanted to skip past this gameplay and just basically check out the CS1, click on the link below and that will get you right to the portion or the video that where you can hear it and see me just shooting half a pod. So basically, it's been a while since I was last at the paintball field. I would say it's just under two months since last I played. So it's been a number of weeks and I was really itching to go out there and play. And especially with fall coming, um, it's just a little bit more enjoyable. I like the cooler weather in, in terms of playing sports, whether it be tennis, riding a bike, or even paintball. Um, I'll still play in the summertime or you know wintertime, but just the cooler weather is just, I, I prefer that a little bit more. So I get to the field and I soon see some of the great guys from the fusion team and you know we get to chit chatting a little bit and as I'm getting ready and they invite me to, to join their group. They already had eight and they asked me if I wanted to join and I you know I graciously accepted. It was going to be uh, a fun day. They're a great group of guys and the, the times that I've played with them it was always fun. Um, so basically we were all playing semi uh, and we played speedball the whole time. It was definitely a great and fun day of playing with them. Um, I've always had fun playing with them. Um, it was definitely a challenge today. Uh, these guys were really good and it was definitely a challenge to sh just to try and, and stay alive in many of the games. Um, they shot really well, they communicated really well, um, and I was just trying to do my best to, to keep up with them. And especially now that I'm editing the video and going over uh, the highlights, it definitely highlights all the things that I need to work on or continue to work on. I know it's not it's not really an excuse to continue to do the wrong things or continue to, to do the bad habits, especially since I haven't played in a while, but uh, uh, their gameplay definitely highlighted the things that I needed to continue working on. Uh, one of them is communication. Now you basically see it throughout the video. Uh, they are calling out positions, they're telling me where they are, and me, not so much. Um, I still try to, I'm still trying to work on that, to try and communicate with others. Um, so sometimes you'll see me try to call out positions, but uh, I, I definitely do a lot more. Um, some of the things I found myself doing and getting caught was either sticking my gun out too, a little bit too much, uh, chicken winging it a little bit. Uh, they caught me a couple of times on the elbow because I wasn't just keeping it behind the bunker. Um, so Holmes I'll out, definitely try out. and talk through the video, highlight the things that I've been doing wrong and especially um, to teach me what I need to change, especially if I'm going to try and play a little bit more this fall season. So as far as the games go, I mostly played on the D side. I did play a couple of games on the snake side just to change it up and, and, and keep it a little bit more interesting. But this is actually one of the better games that I had during the day. I managed to get all the way up to uh, the, the middle of the field and here I am get, trading it out with their D player. Uh, so I said, like I said before, they did an excellent job protect, you know, holding their own, protecting their, their bunkers and it was really tough to, to get at them. Now in this game, this game is actually a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier in the video about me not communicating so much. So here I am playing in the back and I'm hearing everybody else calling out positions and letting um, the teammates know where they are and me just trying to shoot them out and not really saying much. So as I watch this, uh, it's definitely something I need to, to work on. So, like I said earlier, I haven't been to Long Live in quite a number of weeks, and since then, I've heard uh, a couple of people play um, say actually uh, while I was there that they did make some changes to at least two of the fields, and I'm really looking forward to 
go into those fields and, and see and and play in in the new updated fields. Um, I didn't get a chance to play at those field at those fields in, in this video. I, I like I said I spent the whole day in the speedball field, um, but I am planning on going there in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, and playing also in the rec ball field. And I'll, I'm hoping to be able to get those games in there for you as well. So most of the time we played a 5-on-5, five five, sometimes a 4-on-4. Four four. Uh, this game is was a 4-on-4 four four and I look to my left and two of our teammates are, are gone. So it was just on the D side. So here I try to run and cover the snake side but I get shot out on the way. And here is one of the games I had mentioned that I played on the snake side. Um, I ran over here and I was very pleasantly surprised that I was actually able to make it to snake. Uh, but you'll see later on one of the foolish mistakes that I, I did. Uh, so I was just trying to ah, concentrate snake on the snake corner and maybe somebody on, on S1 um, while trying to cover my angles. And I get lucky by seeing the S1 out in the open. I shoot him. And I think that there's only one guy left on the other team on the D side. So I try to jump over the bunker. Only to be shot out by the guy at home. Um, I, that's, I have no excuses. I, I, I should have waited a little bit or communicated before I rushing. I was just being careless. And that's something I need to work on as well. So I'm playing snake side again on the other side of the field. And lucky for me, I was able to make it to Snake again. But soon my camera... I thought I heard a beep and I thought it turned off. So I had to double check and play with my camera a little bit. Uh, just to make sure I was able to record the whole game. And one of the things that I wanted to test was the new mount on my camera. I, I recently just changed the mounts on the camera just to make it a little bit more secure. And this was the first day I'm using it. Um, and that video on what I use to mount is going to be up hopefully soon within the next couple of weeks. Um, so this new method is going to be more versatile. So it's not going to be really too specific on the i4. So for once for the ones that were looking to mount their camera on their Vios or any other helmet, ProFlex, uh, I'm hoping that that video will also be able to, to help them. Again, not really communicating too much. Um, so I try to see what I can do on the snake side. I see uh, one guy moving down the D side, so I try to shoot at him now. I think that he's gone. Uh, and I see finally the guy on the S1 and I try to go midfield to try and get him, only to get caught right in the head by either the guy on D side or the guy in home. Um, not really paying attention to any of the other guys in the field, so that's another thing I need to work on. So here we are, back again on D side. And I believe I take one right to the finger. Again, just I need to work on being a little bit more compact and behind the bunkers instead of being a little too exposed. And I think this day I was actually hit three separate times right in the fingers. And for those of you who've been hit in the fingers before, you know, you know how they can sting and, and you know just bother you for for a few minutes. But uh, hopefully that will be a learning experience. And I try not to do that. Uh, and get hit more in, in the fingers next time I play. And this is actually one of the other better games I had during the day. Uh, despite the fact that the bunker that I was at was just being pounded most of the, most of the game. 
Um, so Will, who was play or moving up to 50, uh, tells me that the reader side was now clear because I couldn't really tell. I just saw that one guy who I thought was playing, but he was a uh, helping ref for us. Um, that he told me that it was clear, so I was a little bit more aggressive in moving up. Otherwise, I would have just stayed there a couple more minutes and would not have allowed me to move up the field. And while that guy was running, uh, Will was able to shoot him out and get him out. Thanks. Thanks, Will. As far as the paint went that day, they did really well in terms of uh, accuracy. But almost all of us experienced some bounce bounces bounce. here and there. And there's actually one right there. I took one to the chest. Um, he's checking and calls me clear. And, you know, continue playing. I right hear again another bounce. I check it. And if I'm not mistaken, this is where I thought I was caught chicken winging it again. I definitely felt it on my... Um, elbow but I did not hear the the hit on my hopper so I call for a paint check again he looks at my elbow uh, it was bounced but he finally sees the uh, the the paint on my hopper I totally did not hear that and uh, just had to apologize to the guys Some, you know I just didn't hear it I didn't want him to think I was cheating in any way and here is one of the quicker games of the day on the snake side. Um, a bounce here. Um, and as I try to go to snake, I catch one right on the top of the noggin. Uh, which stung a little bit, but uh, <laughs> that was a, a great shot. Now, I don't know about you, but almost every time I go out and play, I forget at least one thing sometimes it's you know the spray bottle to clean the land sometimes the microfiber but this particular day I forget my knee pads um, I, which I didn't think was going to be that big of a deal especially since I was expecting to play you know half rec ball half speed ball but around this time after playing snake a couple of times I was definitely feeling the the, the rash or the burn on my knees uh, even though my pants are padded but just the fact that I was crawling around and sliding just you know my knees scraping up against the inside of my pants and I was definitely starting to feel it um, you know you would think I would learn by now but there's always something I forget I, tr I mean it's not like I get ready the morning of I try to be a little bit more prepared pack everything up uh, the night before but for some reason I still I don't know I still forget something um, but so far none of them has really been major like forgetting the batteries or forgetting my gun or hop or anything like that um, so I should just be thankful that it's typically just the smaller smaller things actually for me the worst thing that I did forget one time was my wallet I was supposed to meet uh, these guys about maybe 45 minutes away. Well, I think I actually know a little bit longer. It's um, about an hour and a half away. So I, I left early, I left on time, and I realized while I was on the highway 30 minutes away that I forgot my wallet, which I definitely needed to pay for, you know, admission and paint. So I had to go backtrack, go back home, pick up my wallet, and head over to the field as fast as I could. Um, oh, and here's one prime example of me chicken wing it as I'm reloading uh, the guy pulls off an excellent shot catches me right on the elbow or yeah the forearm I think and gets me uh, but anyway yeah I was late about an hour because I had to go back and because I forgot my no, wallet no. I think that was the worst thing that that has happened in terms of me forgetting there is, a, there has been a few times where I thought I forgot my mask, um, but fortunately, not, that has never happened. I just uh, had it in the back seat, and I think you know my my sweater or something was covering it, um, and I was not really looking forward to um, borrowing one of the rental masks um, that day. But so far, it, you know, knock on wood, it's never happened. Um, I've always had my mask, and like I said, the wallet was the the worst thing that I've forgotten, and most of the other things have been minor. Now, just, you know, out of curiosity, um, if you're listening to the video, 
please feel free to share um, what you've forgotten on your way to the field. Um, if it did ruin your day or you were able to uh, find any of your teammates or buddies that, that you can borrow from, whether it be a, a mask, um, your pod pack, uh, a gun or batteries to the gun, or just, you know, your hopper just was jamming the whole day and you basically had to run the whole day with a, a gravity hopper or anything like that. So, like I said, you know, feel free, uh, make any comments, share your experiences and, and what you did to, to get through it or if it actually even ruined your, your, your day. Now here is that beauty of a gun, Eclipse's new CS1. And let me tell you, Eclipse definitely did not disappoint. It definitely feels uh, balanced, it feels great in the hands. Uh, the rubber or the plastic that they used uh, is different, and, but it still feels very comfortable. The way it's shot, it was pretty smooth, and um, the shot signature uh, was definitely quiet. Uh, especially since this is just brand new uh, he hasn't really used it this is the first time he's using it and I would assume he just we just put a, a case a case and a half um, but I was definitely honored in being able to to hold it uh, talk to him what he we thought about it and even get a chance to shoot half a pod through it so I'll just end my talking here. I won't talk through the shooting video, but I just want to say thank you uh, for watching the video. And again, feel free to make any comments. Very nice. I like the, um, uh, the shine Thanks on it again. Too. Very nice. Last I checked, the battery was the batteries on the loader were good. I don't know what that's like. No, no. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Awesome gun. That thing's so nice. Yeah, try that.